Hi, I'm Ross with Sky Management, and today we are going to be replacing a dishwasher. The tools we need for the project are a screwdriver. Um, it's nice to have one of the screwdrivers where the ends come out because some of the screws that dishwashers and other appliances use uh, have a hex head on them, and you can use it for those as well. Uh, if not, a ratchet will work if uh, you don't have one of the screwdrivers with the removable heads. Uh, a crescent wrench, adjustable crescent wrench. Uh, I've got a pair of pliers here, and I have an electric screwdriver for when we're screwing the dishwasher to secure it to the cabinets. Okay, there are three connections for a dishwasher. There's the water in, or the supply line, there is the water out, or the drain line, and there the, is the electrical line. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn the water off, uh, and it usually is connected underneath the kitchen sink. Um, and it'll be running over to where the hot water comes in for the kitchen sink. In this case, it's this line here. So we're going to shut it off. The drain line uh, runs into the garbage disposal. And we're going to unhook that too. But first thing is to shut off the water. Well, I was afraid of that. <laughs> okay, we are here replacing a dishwasher and we had the water shut off for the dishwasher, the handle broke off, so we're going to go ahead and replace this while we're here because we're going to want to go to a 3 8 out anyway. So we're going to put a new shut off valve here. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn off the water uh, to the whole uh, unit. Uh, you don't want any water on in the unit because once you pull this line off, you're not going to be able to shut it off because you're taking the valve off. So once your water's off, can disconnect That was draining the water out of what was up in the faucet, so we're good. Now it's all out. And we're going to go ahead and remove the valve. To remove the valve, you may need two wrenches or a wrench and a pair of pliers to grab a hold of it. All right, we got our old valve off and we'll be ready for the new one. All right, the valve that we're going to be using is a half inch uh, to a 3 8 inch. For the first side we're going to put on is the half inch side and that's going to go on the second one that we just took off. Since we're going to reuse the nut side of the fitting that was on that old one, we won't need the compression ring or the nut. So we can hang on to those for some other time. Uh, we're going to be using a dishwasher connection on this side, so we won't need it either, but I'll leave it on there for the moment. When you go to put this end onto your line, you're going to use either Teflon tape or some thread paste. I prefer the thread paste, just it's a little bit easier. I always get the tape twisted and on there all weird, so 
I like the paste. So once you got it on the threads all the way around, we're going to crawl back under here and put it on. We're going to go ahead and just slide this over the line and start this nut onto the back. And do it by hand and just kind of snug it up on there and then we'll have to get a hold of it with some pliers and a wrench and get it nice and tight. Alright, we've got the valve on there. We can take the nut off of this side. I left it on there to protect the threads when we're screwing that one on. So it'll be ready for our dishwasher line. So in order to shut off your electric, you need to locate your breaker box. Uh, this breaker box for this particular uh, dishwasher happens to be located in the garage. A lot of times they're either located in the garage, a basement, or in, uh, in the kitchen, if it's a smaller condo uh, or apartment type unit. Uh, typically when you open up a uh, breaker panel you'll see that an electrician uh, has uh, been kind and labeled uh, what all these are and assuming that they're labeled correctly it shows on here that the dishwasher and disposal is labeled as number 19. So then if you go over to these breakers over here and, and go down there's numbers along the side and if you find number 19 I don't know if you'll be able to see that but that's where it is. Number 19 you can shut that breaker off and that's turned it off to the garbage disposal and dishwasher. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and test that uh, inside just to make sure that they had in fact labeled that correctly. We've run into that before where it's been labeled incorrectly, but uh, pending that that is correct, then we should be ready to disconnect it. Before we go pulling out the dishwasher, we're going to look underneath it first and make sure that we have room on the lines to be pulling it out. Uh, sometimes they're hooked up with copper lines and they don't have a lot of play so you won't be able to pull it out without disconnecting the lines first. So we'll just see what we've got going here. Okay, we've got a copper line running directly into the dishwasher so we're probably going to have to disconnect that first before we pull the dishwasher out. Uh, once we get that off, then uh, we can assess the drain line, but we'll probably take the drain line off from underneath the sink and just pull it through with it. Removing the drain line from underneath here, it's pretty tight space, but you'll have to get in here with your wrench and try to find a way to get a hold of this nut. We've got our supply line disconnected and now we're going to take off the drain line. I'm going to take it off of the garbage disposal and then when we pull the dishwasher out of the cabinet it'll just pull the line through with it because we're going to be replacing this line. So depending on how it's connected to your garbage disposal, sometimes they use these little spring clamps. Sometimes there's a little screw on clamp so you may need a screwdriver for yours. Uh, this one was just a spring. Now this may have some water in it too, so have a towel uh, just in case. The last line holding the dishwasher in is the electric line. Those are located on the right side of the dishwasher 
at the bottom right corner there will be this box that has all the warning labels on it. Uh, remember we've got our power turned off at the breaker box and it's good to test the dishwasher first and make sure it doesn't come on so that the power is off before you go opening this up. Got your hot line and your neutral line and the ground line, and we'll go ahead and just disconnect all of those. Some houses and apartments, they uh, allow, allow enough line underneath here that you can pull the dishwasher out and flip it upside down to do all this stuff, but I can't tell that I've got enough line here, so we're doing it underneath here, which is not the easiest thing to do. Once you've got all your wires disconnected, then there's a little uh, nut on the back here that is holding the lines uh, running back into the wall in place underneath the dishwasher. You'll have to take it off, and we're going to want to keep it for when we put in the new one. This little ring with teeth on it. The final step before we can go pulling this out of the cabinet is to remove the screws that are holding it into the cabinet itself. This particular dishwasher is on a granite countertop and whoever installed it didn't put anything securing it in here so it's uh, freestanding. But a lot of times there will be screws in these and uh, they can be in the side as well, especially the newer models. These brackets can be put on the side or on the top. So make sure you've got all your screws out before you just go yanking it out of the cabinet. Since we've got it all unhooked and all unscrewed and everything, we can go ahead and pull it out of the cabinet. You're going to want to go gently and carefully wiggle it back and forth a little bit. And we're loose. We're ready to get rid of this one and get the new one in here. We have a new KitchenAid dishwasher that we're going to be putting in. The Install is a little bit easier than taking the old one out because we'll be able to connect some of the lines before we shove it in there. So the first one we're going to do is the drain line and you'll need one of the little clips that comes with it and the drain line also comes with it. The clip, you'll squeeze it down with some pliers and fit it onto the rubber drain line that is connected to the dishwasher. It's on the left side over here. And then you're going to take the drain line that comes inside the dishwasher and the end that's not the rubber end, it's just got the teeth on it. It's going to shove in there, but first pinch down the clip. And shove it all the way down past the where it goes in. And then you can shove this part down in there. And then we'll move the clip back up to where it pinches down on that line. These may not be the best pliers for this. Now that'll hold that drain line in, and we'll do the supply line next. To connect the supply line, we've laid the dishwasher on its back so it'll be easier to get to. And we're going to go ahead and remove this front bottom panel. These new dishwashers, they come off real easy. 
I'm going to set that aside because we'll need that to put back on. Now the supply line comes in right here and there are two different kinds of fittings on dishwashers that are the standard ones. Uh, there may be some weirdy ones uh, if you have an odd dishwasher, but most of the standard ones are either this big one or there'll be a small one. The dishwasher installation supply line kit will come with both kinds of adapters for that. Uh, this is the other kind, we're not going to use it. This is the kind for this dishwasher and it's going to go on here. But I want to hook it on to the supply line first. It'll be easier to screw it in before I get it on there. Uh, we, we won't be using the thread tape or paste on this one because it uses a rubber gasket. And I'm going to need my wrench and my pliers to get it good and tight. Once you've got it good and tight, you're going to hook the large end that looks like a garden hose kind of end onto where, this, where it fits right there. I think I'm going to go over that guy. I'm going to get it on there finger tight. Again, this one has a rubber washer on this side, so you don't need the, the thread tape. To get it finger tight, we're going to snug it up real good with a pair of pliers. That should be good. Now we're going to stand the dishwasher back up and we'll slide it back in the hole. And when we do that, we'll have to feed these lines into the cabinet underneath the sink. When you're feeding the lines into the cabinet underneath the sink, there should be a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom. If you only have the hole at the top, that's okay. If you only have the hole at the bottom, that's probably not so okay. Uh, the hole at the top is so that your drain line goes up above the level of the garbage disposal so that uh, water in the sink won't drain back into the dishwasher. So having it up above where it will connect into the dish, into the garbage disposal helps that. We have two holes, so I'm going to put the supply line in through the hole in the bottom. Uh, if, if you only had the hole in the top, then you could run the supply line up through the top, but it'll be a little bit farther away from the shutoff, so you'll may need a longer line. Once we got our line started into the holes, we can go ahead and shove the dishwasher back into the cabinet. I'm going to shove it back into the cabinet, and I'm going to have my brother pull on the lines underneath the sink so we can keep from running over them. Nice and slow. Once we've got it in there, we just have to connect the electrical lines and then uh, we're going to run it and check it for leaks. We're going to hook up our supply line that we've run underneath the kitchen sink now up to the hot water. We had to put a new valve on here to get the right size and because the old one broke. So we can get it on there finger tight and use a wrench. Give it a couple more turns here. Then, well, the valve we put on here is a quarter turn valve. Uh, we still have water off to the house, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so that we'll be ready to go. Okay, we've got our drain line coming in. Remember, we're coming in up above where the garbage disposal is. We're going to put our clip onto the rubber end of the drain line, go ahead and go on past it so that it's on there toward the back. 
Uh, if you put on a new garbage disposal, you need to knock out the plug that's in this with a screwdriver and a hammer. Uh, these come blocked off in case you don't have a dishwasher. Uh, since we took the dishwasher off of this one, it's already knocked out of there. Shove that on there. And then we'll need our pliers to smash this clip. There. All right, it should be good. Okay, for this particular model of uh, KitchenAid dishwasher, we had to remove the electrical box off of the side over here in order to get to it. The wires we have are really short, so we pulled the box off, I'm feeding the wires in. This is where we're going to bring back this nut with teeth on it to hold our wires in place. Sorry if I'm blocking the view, but it's a pretty tight fit. ground line, which is the line that, that is not insulated, it's just this bare copper wire, that will go on the green screw right here underneath this little washer. And the black line to the black line and white line to the white line. Now we've got our ground wire onto the green screw here and the white is connected together and the black is connected together so we got to get all that shove down in the box put the lid back on the box we've got it all hooked up now we just need to turn the power back on and turn the water back on and we're going to test it and make sure that it doesn't leak with the water turned back on you want to look for any leaks underneath the sink and underneath the dishwasher. I have bought and installed brand new dishwashers and the pumps leaked in them. Doesn't happen very often, but they can. So we've got a runner right now. We want to run it through each cycle and check it to make sure that uh, like the drain line isn't leaking. You want to check both ends of the drain line and both ends of the supply line and underneath where the pump is. And if you don't see any water leaking out anywhere, then you can put the cover back on the bottom and you're all set. Thank you for watching our install of a dishwasher. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments.